We're talking Kapahaka, and of course, there are 55 teams after 12 regionals going to Taranaki for Te Matatini Oteka Hui Maunga. Joining me now are Te Taipa Kamata, a tutor and leader of Te Reanga Morehu Oratana, who won the Kahui Maunga regional competition this year, and Mercia Yates, superlative performer for Ngāti Rangi Wewehi, who may take the stage again at Te Matatini next year. You never know, Mercia. Te Akuranga Tira Tēnā Kōrua. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it you both being available. It's great to be able to speak with you legends. Okay, 55 teams. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of teams. That, that's a lot of teams, <laughs> right. Definitely. Um, I think it's the biggest Te Matatini um, that we've had now since its inception. Um, but when we look at the format that Te Matatini has at the moment, well, let's go back uh, to Te Matatini Pōneke, um, 46 teams, um, spread out three days, um, 15 teams, uh, one day with 16 teams. And then you've got Te Matatini, uh, Tamaki Heringa, Waka Heringa Tangata. Um, again, 48 teams um, or so, so, um, you know, 16 teams and whatnot. Now 55. So we're looking at about uh, 19, couple of days of 18 teams and 19 teams. Now when you start at 8, 15, 30, Hey, um, and then uh, you're looking at uh, six thirty finish, but with fifty five teams, you're looking yeah. at about an eight o'clock finish. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a long day. Some it's of us cover like freaks love it. It's Mercia. absolutely hard, but it's hard for judges. I yeah. mean, you've judged. It's yeah. hard, eh? And kuera no hokitaku, like just looking at that formula. If it's not spread out over a four-day period, it would definitely lessen the load for the judges, but I just think 55 teams for Te Matatini, whilst that's great, because it demonstrates that our rohe and our haka, our haka, is alive and thriving. However, what we also know, having judged, mm. is that is a huge tax on our judges, really? and I just don't believe that um, we need to be facing... Uh, the pressures, I suppose, as judges, but also for the kaihaka themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a long day for kaihaka. And, of course, for the hokainga. So we, yeah. we've seen some footage there of some of the regional performances. But for the hokainga, it puts the stress and the strain on the hokainga as well. I mean, you've got to, you've got to find 55 yeah. locations Correct. for the kapaka to stay at, right? Yeah. Um, well, um, there is a little bit of a struggle at the moment with um, regards to accommodation. Um, but rest assured, um, uh, Ngai Wio Taranaki, working alongside Kahui Maunga and Te Matatini, mm. um, will definitely have uh, 55 accommodation for our teams to to host our teams, um, our kapa, um, priority would be our kapa haka, yeah. um, and then of course everybody else. Yeah, uh, great for the for the Taranaki and wider Absolutely. community economy though, <laughs> which is awesome. So let's talk about the quality of the performances from the 12 regionals, because as you say, there were lots of teams. How did you see the quality of the performances in the 12 regional competitions? Well, actually, I was just talking to Mercia earlier and I was thinking, <clears throat> I think for my, my question is, where is kapa haka going and what does that quality look like uh, for competition and what does that quality look like for kapahaka? Um, but um, I can see that um, kai te whanake haere, um, ngā kapahaka right across the country and the new ones that are coming on board mm. at the moment now are actually competing for the competition and not just to entertain, albeit majority of them were yeah. Team. We saw a little clip of, I think it was Te Rangiura or Wairarapo just before, so that's one of those teams I Definitely. think that has just blossomed. <clears throat> Only had a couple of competitions, one maybe mm. regional competition previously, they'll be contenders. Mercy, it makes it tough on Rohe like Tauro, right? <laughs> where, oh, it absolutely where, does. You know, you've got six qualifying <laughs> teams, you could have eight or ten or whatever yeah. it was. I mean, all of them could be competing for the final slots. And I think year. that demonstrates also, like as Taipa and I were talking earlier, about, uh, well, my kids actually said to me, what about a quota system, Mum? Because obviously you've got your competitive teams like Te Arawa, but we didn't have as many totoko kappa. So we've still got strength in the numbers of our Te Arawa teams that mm. competed. And I think, uh, dare I say it, and I can say it, no Te Arawa ke tātou. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, Te Arawa has, ha has it. You know, like we could, we could have taken any one of our competitive teams to Te Matatini. Unfortunately, six had to be chosen. We also, when we spoke about the quota system, we've seen regionals over the last few months where their tautoko kappa have been more 
than the competitive team. So where is the fairness in that when we start looking at the groups that qualified for Te mm. Yeah, and you raise a good point, right? There could be a time at which, because if every rohe got six teams into the competition, that is a heck that of a lot of teams. Yeah. So do you think we might get close to a point at which we say, look, there are too many teams going to Te Matatini now. We have to look at something different. Well, I mean, it's in, in Te Matatini's mission statement, you know, to grow kapahaka, yeah. um, you know, quality and, and all of that. Um, the question that we need to ask is, are we actually sending quality kapahaka? No offence to, to all our kapa that have made it, you know, congratulations, you made it on the system that allowed you to get to Te Matatini. When we're talking Te Arawa, all six qualifying teams from Te Arawa deserve to be there. Mm. I mean, look at the last result of the, of the finals. Five of those um, six mm. that were sent to, to Te Matatini were from Te Arawa. Mm. Um, and so um, there are other regions to which, you know, they're still growing and whatnot compared to the six that, and the seven and eight that mm. Te Arawa could have put through. OK, we did say, though, OK, te whanau ke haere. Okay. We've seen, I think, a growth in quality of performance. Um, is there anything yeah. different you've noticed this year that has led to that, or anything different from previous regionals that you've noticed in particular? Yeah, well, obviously, I think um, more Thai. Whilst that was new for some people's eyes, Taipo and I were also talking about other kappa who have presented in a very similar way, but perhaps wasn't judged okay. in the same way as more Thai Tangataro did. Uh, we've seen it in secondary school kapahaka Correct. as well with um, one of our secondary school teams taking to the stage in very similar um, outfits but that was definitely a time period mm. that was captured and has been captured and even when I look at our 55 teams competing at Te Matatini next year I've often had a whakaro of is it is it fair to pull them in ohu? Is it a traditional pull? Is it a, oh, wow. a contemporary traditional pull, like the likes of Ratana, Rangi Wewahi, and uh, Te Whanau Apanui and Tuhurangi, you know, that genre of kapa? And then is it like we don't see anything like kataore anymore because they were just too theatrical in the way in which they presented themselves? But I feel, uh, if we, if, have we seen anything new? I don't believe we've been allowed to see anything new and extraordinary in that space. Oh, yeah, that quick way to two e kind of approach, yeah. like varieties and spice of life. Um, there's a couple of other issues I want to get to very quickly if I can. Lots of first equals. I mean, look at Tama Kimakodo, the announcement on Sunday, right. three first equals mm -hmm. yeah. in the competition, but lots of first equals in sections as well. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, do you think? Well, um, I don't really mind it. I mean, uh, for example, if you won, then you won. You know, if you come first, then you come first. Because if we take that result and we go back to 2019, 2019, um, where Ngāti Manako and Ngāti um were neck and neck until it got to the haka, you see. Uh. Now, just give it to the both of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're a winner, you're a winner, and everybody's a winner. Yeah, it, is, it is an It's one punch. of those moments. Yeah. Well, you know, up, 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 the thing is, everybody works hard to achieve that, mm. a, um, and not so much to be robbed, but when you don't get first place with everybody else, then that's telling you, well, I'm going to win the haka through my whakawate and not through the haka itself. Yeah. Missy, any other thoughts? Oh, no, we're tautoku ana, and I just think we haven't seen that kind of, like, we see toranga pū in, in many yeah. of our performances, but I haven't seen that yet, so maybe that's coming for wow. te matatini. OK, um, uh, one final thing. Um, aside from te reanga morihu and ngā tirangi wewahi, who's going to win? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it will definitely be one of <laughs> one of the top ten. <laughs> well, the thing is, everybody hopes that um, when they make it, they're going to win um, yeah. Um, yeah. Te Matatini. I mean, I'm not going to make no joke about it. Te Ranga Mori was reaching for the top. Yeah. Um, however, Tainui hasn't been at the top for a very long time. Uh. Yeah. Um, te Arawa, uh, uh. Been knocking for a little, little bit. OK. Was... Yep, no, no. Fair but in, in saying that... Del Haka will win. Correct. Yep. Yeah. That, that was a very, very <laughs> good ending. And I forgot to note the Tarawa bias in and amongst the panel tonight, <laughs> including the host. Yaku Rangatuna. Tēnā kōrua. Thank you both. It, it's always awesome to be able to talk with legends of Kabaga. Tēnā kōrua. E mihi ana kia kōrua. It was, of course, the Taipa Kamata.